leaders' questions. We must welcome Minister Dara O'Brien and Deputy Pierce Doherty. Deputy Doherty. Karmaik at the Ian Corley. I guess Tesco Nesh will in Rialta Shaw and Napa Ganesh La Bresh against three Piane, ten plant Tihiakte and Arisha, a Vaimanesh La Yevia, and Yakis Tesic Madi and Wallek will chip at inflation, ten the Spraki, Sprakane, Tihiakte, Raw Eshel, I guess Te and Plan, I guess in Rialta Shaw, a Glick and Sheets are Muncher. Tesic Shin Fain, Gushin Rodata de Yi, Napi Mila Chap Hobley, a hotter foil, and Dian Shogun, I guess Fregard, a hotter foil, done the reacting she Tihia are Muncher. Minister, you've been in office now for three years, and I think everybody knows that your housing targets are far too low, something that is universally acknowledged now at this stage, targets that don't reflect the actual housing need across the state. But even still, every single year you miss your targets in terms of affordable housing. housing house prices are at record highs and continue to rise. Rents continue to spiral out of control with no end in sight for struggling renters. And what's been your response, Minister? In, the in your first full year as Minister, not a single affordable rental home to, or to purchase was delivered under your tenure. In your second year as Minister, you delivered only 75, 75 affordable homes to rent. And not a single affordable home was delivered to purchase in that year. In your third year as Minister, you promised 4,000 affordable homes and you didn't deliver just a quarter of those uh, that you was in your target. And what about this year, Minister? This year you promised 5,500 affordable homes. Now, every quarter you're supposed to report the progress on affordable home delivery. But there was no update in quarter one, no update in quarter two. So, Minister, what are you hiding? What are you hiding? Why won't you tell the public in relation to what is being achieved under these missed targets. Why won't you tell us today how many affordable homes to rent in Dubai have been delivered? The problem is, Minister, that your targets are not being delivered. In your own constituency, and you know this only too well, people are crying out for affordable housing. A recent article in the journal highlights the difficulties that workers and families are facing. In Dunamer housing scheme in Lusk, Homes were to be completed, fully completed, in October of last year, Minister, last year. But some residents are being told that it will be October this year before they're delivered, 12 months later. Now, in the words of one person, Minister, of your constituents, they said, I wish I, would ne I never applied for the scheme. I thought we were the luckiest people ever to get this, but it has caused so much stress and anxiety and everything is just a constant worry. So, Minister, even planned developments are not being delivered on time, yet you're more than happy to show up for photograph after photograph, soundbite after soundbite, and all around us, everybody knows your plan is a shambles, Minister. It's not working, it's not delivering, and you as a Minister are failing. So we in Sinn Féin have been very clear. We know what is needed. We need to deliver at least 20,000 public homes next year. At least 8,000 of those should be genuinely affordable homes to rent or to buy. So under Fianna Fáil and Fianna Gael, what have we seen? We've seen rates of home ownership have fallen. We've seen a generation of our people who desperately want to move on to the next stage of their lives. They've been locked out of owning their own homes. You shake your head, Minister. I spent August in Australia. I met with the people who you forced onto those planes. There is a common thread through all of them, whether they were in Sydney, in Canberra, or other parts of Australia, it is the failure of housing that they are driving them to Dublin Airport and to board that plane. So please recognise the fact that you are failing, your plan is failing, and you have a simple choice, and budget provides you that to that choice. Either stick with your current plan, which is clearly failing, or take Sinn Féin's advice to dramatically increase investment in public housing and deliver genuinely affordable homes to rent Thank and to buy that working people rightly deserve and need. So can I ask you, will you heed this up, advice, deputy. will you change course, because, and will you acknowledge that your plan is failing? Minister. <coughs> and just to deal with some of the facts that are there as opposed to uh, your contribution here today, you will know last year that we delivered just short of 30,000 new homes, um, 5,000 more than the target set in the first year of Housing for All, in a difficult year in which you might like to ignore as well the difficulties around supply chain, inflation, real world issues real world issues like the pandemic as well, Deputy. And at the same time, whilst ignoring that, you ignore your own party's policies around first-time buyers. We have more first-time buyers now 
drawing down mortgages every single week than we've had since 2007. And the reason for that is the support that this government and that I as Minister are putting in place. And I'll name them for you, Deputy, and you can come back and say what, what you would do instead. The Help to Buy grant, €30,000 of people's own tax back in their pocket to help with a deposit. 41,000 households have claimed that tax credit. 41,000. And actually more in the first quarter of this year than we've seen uh, in many, many years. What will your party do? You're on the record. Your colleague sitting beside you said he'll abolish it. So the tax back that people have earned and paid uh, to help them buy their house, oh no, Bryn, in your party, your policy is you'll get rid of it. And that's very clear. Second assistance that we brought in under the Affordable Housing Act, which was the first home scheme. First home scheme, which helps people bridge the gap between the finance they have and what they need by the state stepping in and taking an equity. And again, your good colleague beside you tried to scuttle it before it was even before it was even published, said it would be a second mortgage, it would lead to house price inflation, none of which has happened. What has happened, though, is we've had over 2,500 approvals, 2,500 families are able to buy their own home by the state actually giving them the equity, many of whom, by the way, Deputy Doherty, are renters, are people who are living at home, are people who want to buy it, and I've met these people. Uh, going around and visiting people across the country, not in Australia, visiting people here in the 26 counties of the Republic, people who are actually buying their homes with the assistance that we have. Inexplicably, the third thing that you again oppose for some crazy reason, because a lot of your colleagues behind you keep asking me to alter and expand the grant further, is the vacancy grant. The Creekona vacancy grant, 50,000 for a derelict property, or 50,000 for vacant, 70,000 for derelict. Again, Sinn Féin oppose it. And I asked, I asked Deputy O'Brien, I said, why do you oppose it? He said, we just do it better. That's all he said. No policies, no nothing. That's what I said, we just do it better. And then talking about the overall investment, Achyakta, 4.5 billion euro this year under Housing for All we're investing. Do you know actually how much is in your Sinn Féin policy? Not your, poli not your housing policy, because you still haven't produced that. You were due to that, I think, in June or July. It's still delayed. But in the last budget, your alternative budget, you allocated 2.8 billion, 1.7 billion euro less than this government's actually investing. So what Deputy O'Brien and the geniuses on your side of the house would say is you can build actually more houses with less money. Simply not true, not true whatsoever. And the facts again are borne out in delivery figures, Deputy. Last year, this state, whilst catching up, and yes, we do need to catch up on housing delivery, built more new social homes than we've done since 1975. Many of those homes, I might add, Deputy, your own councillors and rep representatives objected to right across the country. 6,000 in Dublin alone. That's a fact. That's, what, that's what's happened. Desi, just up the road from you, we'll be turning the sod on Oscar Trainer Road. And you have years objecting to that as well, and work is going to start on Oscar Trainer too. So what we're saying is we have a plan that's actually working. There remain challenges. There remain challenges. We'll exceed our housing target this year. But you might respond to me and tell me what Sinn Féin is going to do for first-time buyers when you abolish the Help to Buy grant, you abolish the First Home Scheme, you even abolish the Vacancy grant. So what's your plan you, to deliver Time more houses with less money, Deputy? Thank you. Deputy Dard. Well, Ken Corlier, if people who are struggling with the cost of living crisis in the middle of a housing crisis wanted hope, then they weren't going to get it from the Minister here, opposite here. today. And that's the really shameful thing, is he talks about Sinn Féin and, 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 and tries to mislead the public out there in terms of some of his commentary earlier on. The reality is, and let's just deal with this, I'm talking about affordable housing, Minister. Year one, how much did you deliver? Zero. Year two, how much did you deliver? 75. Year three, how much did you deliver? Less than 1,000. Year four, you promised 5,500. How much did you deliver? You won't tell us. You won't tell us. That's how bad your plan is. That's how little confidence you have in yourself. You won't even tell us. Because if you were achieving those targets, you would be donning the hard hats and you would be posing for the photographs. Your plan is failing. You're failing as a minister. And you need to understand this. Now, you can, you can come out with the same stuff over and over again. But let's look at the facts. Home ownership is falling under your government. Nothing you say will take away from that. House prices are at an all-time high. 
Rents are through the roof, and homelessness is at levels that we've Thank never you, seen Deputy before. Under you, on. Minister, this is why your plan is failing. I am appealing to you Time to change up, Deputy, direction. Please. Don't do more of the same. Stop the, hus the, 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 the bluster that's coming from yeah, you please, and recognise what's happening out there, because the country needs a change of direction, and the they need you to recognise that. Darity, Deputy, I note in your response to me you didn't answer any questions or put forward any alternatives. There's no Sinn Féin housing policy. There isn't. It doesn't exist. Now, what I would say to you is this. There remain very significant challenges, no question. And we have an overall target this year of delivering 29,000 new homes. And we intend to do that. We delivered affordable homes in the first year of housing for all, in the, for the first time in a generation. And actually, Deputy, speaking of, of photo ops, actually very recently in Deputy Louise O'Reilly's own constituency, we turned this out on 1,200 new homes there in Ballam Stone. Uh, the, one of the biggest, the most significant sites uh, in the country, 253 affordable, 253 social. And you might ask Deputy O'Reilly what her councillor in Fingal County Council did, objected to that development, opposed it in the council. So there's 1,200 families there that, supported by this government under the Affordable Housing Fund, will get new homes. And we, yes, challenges remain, Deputy, but our plan is taking hold. And it's actually show, it's Please. actually... The, the delivery figures show that. They're, not everybody is feeling that, Deputy. But I just think people who are watching in here will see that... Mem I, I, th I think, in Minister fairness, pe I think no, people please. who are watching in here will see that all Sinn Féin have called for, particularly for first-time buyers, is to remove all the supports that are there. Help to buy first Thank home you, scheme Minister, uh, and the vacancy grant, and you'll please, get rid no, of them all. You Thank you. The Deputy Doherty, will you... Deputy Doherty. Deputy Doherty, please, a little order. Deputy Doherty. Deputy Doherty, you are out of order. You, please do not ignore the chair. You are out of order. Your time is up.